Hi, in this video we will be looking for pivot tables. Let's see how. If you see on the data, on the screen I have some data that is date, products, region, name, unit, sales and COGs. Now what I want is, I want to create a pivot table for this data. But first of all I will just try to tell you what is the difference between normal table and pivot table. Normal tables are fixed, pivot tables are flexible. Normal tables gives you entire data whereas pivot table gives you a summarized data or you can say subtotals of each record or you can say each uh, distinguished record you can say. Now let's see how to go for normal pivot table is. I'll just keep my cursor in the data. Now make sure when you create a pivot table the, for the data, the data should not have any blank column neither any blank record. So if you see I have entire there is no blank column okay and there is no blank record in this entire data. I'll just keep my cursor in the data and I'll just go to the insert tab and go to pivot table. Remember pivot table can be created in just 5 seconds that's very simple and easy. Now when you click on this pivot table it will ask you two questions where is your source data. So if you see my dancing hands here it is my data is already selected with this dancing hands. So source data is selected. Second question if you see it is selected already. Second question it will ask where do you want to paste in the new worksheet or in the existing worksheet. I will say I want to paste on the existing worksheet exactly next to it. So you say existing worksheet where exactly in the existing worksheet I will click on the cell that is my existing worksheet click on OK. So if I just move around now see it is a blank pivot table which is empty there is nothing right now. But if, if you observe I have got something which is pivot table fields. Now what exactly fields means is these are the names of the column headings. Now if you observe here. Uh, you have this date, product, region, name, units. So these are the column headings. In this pivot table field list, I have date, product, region, name and all. So now it has divided this columns. It wants to divide into four partitions. That is rows, values, columns and filters. Let's see those. What are the uh, this options? I'll select this region and I'll drag down into this rows. So what happened was this region have become the row headings. Now if you pick up this name and drag it down in this column this have become the column headings this name have become the column headings these are the row headings because I have put in the rows. Similarly if I put the sales and COGs in this values only number fields can be entered either sales or COGs. So what I will do is I will pick up the sales and I will drag down in the values. So this way I have got the sales. If you, if you do not want the sales you can just bring it back remove it back to this place and you can bring this COGs at this values. So these are COGs right. So I have got the names here in the column headings, uh, region in the row headings and the COGs in this middle data. Now if you do not like this kind of pattern what you want is you want to exchange it. The reason it might be if you see it is getting long to the right hand side whereas the rows are very less. If you want to interchange what you can do is very simple. You can just pick up this name drop in the rows pick up this region and drop in the columns like this. Just click on it, drag it and drop it. Similarly region you can drag it and drop it here. So now if you see that <coughs> pivot table has become flexible as I said pivot is flexible. Normal tables you cannot do it. It is very much flexible. I have got the sum of COGs. Now what is this exactly? This is the summarized data which I said second one. It is not the detailed data. It is a summarized data. If you want to understand the John has done a sales in the east region as 1605. Let's see how. If I just if I want to know the details what I'll do is I'll double click on this 1605. Once I click on this I'll get a new sheet before this sheet that is a data sheet and it will tell me how I got the details. Let's see how. I'll just double click on it. Once I double click you see before this data sheet I have got a sheet number 5. 4 I've already created and deleted. I have got sheet number 5. It says in the east region and the name John the sales was what the COGs was 1605. How come? I will just select this and uh, this way I will select. Yeah, I have selected now let us see what is the sum of COGs. If you see at the bottom that is saying as 1605. So you understand if you use a normal table you have to add two filters first for the region second for the name and then you have to take a subtotal or total whatever it might be. But now it is very easy. I will come back to the data. This is how you can get it. Now so this is for the columns and rows and sum of what you call that is for the values. You can co keep on inserting different values. If you do not like it if you want to vanish it or finish it you can just select it drop it back. Select it drop it back. Select and drop it back. Right. Yeah. It has stopped 
yeah one second it will take it now suppose if you do not want this kind of option you want count of region or you want count of name or anything so it's a very simple method you don't have to use the formula count if sum if i'll give you a best option how you can use with help of pivot table so i'll just drag it here it came back so i'll remove this again yeah i'll just drop it back again yeah suppose you want count of name so what you have to do is very simple thing bring name into the rows and bring name into the values so i'll just bring this name into the rows and similarly i'll bring this name into the values so if you see what it has done is these are the row labels where the names are given and similarly i have count of name so let's see it says nick has repeated 10 times whereas luke has been repeated 10 times now if you want to ha have the detail how come 10 times give me the details so what you have to do is just double click on that number which you have a doubt if you have a doubt on this let's say neeta so what you can do is double click on that neeta let's say double click a separate sheet will be created before this data sheet you see this it says neeta is repeated how many times so i'll just cl click on this total row a table will be created click on this total row i'll click on this and if you see count so i've got neeta 11 times so this way you can solve your doubts how it is so i'll go to data tab and this is the option given now one more example if you do not want count of names you want count of region similarly a just example i'll just first remove this if you want count of region you just pick up the region like this drag it in the rows similarly pick up the region and drag it the values so if you see here region that is east is repeated 30 times so if you want to understand just double click on that 30 and you will get the data so this way you can get it count of all the options that's the simplest method you can get it now if let's go a bit detail into it you have the region that is east repeated 30 times but if you want to understand which sales person has gone to that region and sent it so what you can do is i'm i'm just going a bit detail into it so i'll be, bring this region that is the name into this columns and i'll bring it on the right hand side you remember east region in the previous example was repeated how many times 30 times but now how come 30 times who went how many times so you can understand rita went 5 times neeta went 3 times joseph 2 times and this simon went 4 times so total of this 30 times this people have gone there and you get the answer so this way you can you know you can get it into detail about this pivot table whereas if you do not use a pivot table i'll tell, tell you you have to use count if formula not also count neither count if but count ifs formula which is very advanced and detailed formula but you can avoid using formulas and multiple options using this place right so that's all about here now if you see i have something which is not properly seen that is row labels column labels i do not understand what it exactly it is i want to understand this is the region and this is for the names so once you click inside the table you get a pivot table tools but if you click outside the pivot table tools goes away the pivot table field list goes away once you come and click inside this table you get this one also and you also get this pivot table tools now what i was talking about the column labels and row labels if you go to this design tab you get loads of options coloring options you get this check box but now if i go to this report layout by default this is in the compact form you do not want in the compact form you want in some other form let's say you want in the outline form so once you click on this outline form so you see the names have come back that is the region and the name that has come back so it makes something sensible name which you can understand right next is if you see i have a grand total total at the bottom and grand total on the row end right if you do not want the grand total so you can remove or you can bring it back so i have the options as grand total if you if you do not want you can just click on this off for rows and columns so this and this both will go away if you want to bring it back the same go to grand totals on for rows and columns you have got it back if you want either for columns or rows you can just go to this grand total and you can either select for rows and columns only so i'll select for rows only so i've got for rows if you want for columns you can select for columns so this way you have got it right next we have what you can do is if you want to change the color right now it is a blue color if you want to change the color of this table design tab you can just click on this drop down choose the format which you want for your table right so you can select right now a design let's say black color this way so black color comes if you want some other color you can choose the other color similarly if you want to you know create your own style so you can just click on this new pivot table style but right now not required you can choose the from here itself similarly i'll just go for the black one because it's easy to understand then 
yeah similarly if you see there's something row headers column headers so if i click on row headers you see what is happening is row headers is nothing column headers yeah so if you see column headers this column headers right now it is in black color it goes away whereas if you see the banded rows the alternate rows have been banded the alternate alternate rows have been colored if you select for the banded columns you see alternate columns have been colored here i'll select banded rows so alternate rows have been banded alternate columns have been also banded so i'll, I'll not keep it i'll remove all the options here now i'll go for one more example that is pivot one okay i hope you have understood few examples few which are left we'll go for the next topic here that is a pivot one so now i have the similar data which is a date product region purposely i have taken different type of data that is date text and also numbers now what i want is i want to create this kind of pivot table right i have written using sum if and count if formula i want this kind of pivot table so how do i do it i want the names in the rows and the uh, region in the column headings so it's very simple hardly 5 seconds to create a pivot table keep your cursor in the data like this and then you can go to the insert tab and click on this pivot table it will ask you two questions what is your source data and what is your destination source data is by default selected because i kept the cursor in the data and it says what do you want the where is the location you want i want in the existing worksheet so what i'll do is i will keep the data exactly next to this so it makes my work easy to understand where i want the data and i'll click on okay so this is the blank pivot table empty i want to create a pivot table like this one so what i'll do is i'll bring here the name in the rows and uh, i'll bring something which is the region in this column headings this way and i want the sales in this middle part so sales i've got it so let's see whether verify the answer is correct or not 30 3017 that is properly given here whereas the 3648 which is given here absolutely right now again if i there, there are given as row labels and column labels i'll go and change it into sensible name go to design and i'll see as report layout show in outline form so i've got in the outline form next one so very simple thing if you want to change from dollar sign to this sign is what you can do is you can just go to this pivot table field list click on this sum of sales and you see the last option value field settings in the value field settings what you can do is you have this format right now it is the sum given here the name of that this is the sum which is given here sum of sales you see here it is on the right hand left hand side column i'll remove this sum of sales and write as sales final right sales final so the name will change but right now i want to change the number format for this number format i'll just click on this number format and i'll go to currency in this currency i want a dollar sign with zero decimals so i'll select the dollar sign right now i'll select any dollar sign from here let's say canada english and decimals i want zero decimals i want zero so i'll make it as zero yeah and click on okay so that's all so i'll just click on okay so if you see that has been changed to currency so somewhat similar or you can see this one so it's 3017 dollar 3017 dollar so it's working fine so remember if you want to change the formats of the currency or the numbers into date text or some sorry dates and you can see as decimals you can go to this values and you can go to this value field settings you have this option as number format and you can choose it so now suppose if you do not want here it is given as sum so if you do not want sum if you want count of sales how do you find out if you want count of sales you just go to this place and you can see as value field settings now by default the function which is selected is sum so you can go back and you can select as count so you see it has changed to count of sales this sales final will be changed to count of sales and i'll click on okay so the reason it is showing as dollar 5 because the currency format is there so you can go and change the currency format so i'll go back value field settings number format and i'll make it number number and click on okay so it says it says it is five times repeated john in the east region now if you have still a doubt how come five times john has been repeated in east region you just double click on that and it says this is the john and in east region so it has repeated five times in that region let's come back to the sheet that is a pivot one so this way you can get some average minimum maximum count all these options into this pivot table it saves lot of time just button click earlier we used to type the formulas and functions and get the answers so i think you have understood how to create pivot tables how to create in just 5 seconds 
and go to the menu bar. We have seen how to go for the report layout. We have seen how to use the different functions and change the number formatting. That's all for this video.